I'm 28 now. I'm older and wiser. I definitely feel wiser than what I was in my early 20s. I wanted to do a vlog for my birthday, but to be honest, I'm very nervous in front of the camera, so my vlog was not amazing. So we're gonna talk about what I did for my birthday, and then I'm gonna share the very big gift that my baby sister gave me. So let's get into this. So we ended up spending my birthday in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We drove down and we ended up, um, okay, so we drove down on a Sunday and there was absolutely nowhere for us to eat. Like nothing was open. This is the first time I had actually ever planned a trip. So I didn't even think to think about this stuff, which just... So we ended up eating dinner at this place called tavern at rogues manor and it was so beautiful inside when we first got in there i guess the guy was new and he like sat us inside this area where we almost had these like ginormous like gangster seats <laughs> like it was like a grandpa chair at these tables and we had this beautiful waterfall right next to us it was so great but then they ended up moving us because apparently that table was deserved so that was like kind of a little bit of a letdown but we ended up sitting somewhere else and it was just the ceiling was beautiful i know i'm talking an awful lot about the way that this place looked but honestly the ambiance to me was better than my food like there was nothing wrong with my food I just I think I mentioned this in my vegan video that I've started like putting red pepper in everything and I think if something doesn't have red pepper in it I just have like no taste buds for it like I literally need it to be choking me or else I'm like there's no seasoning like <laughs> what's happening <laughs> so yeah after we ate we ended up heading back to the hotel for the night and just sleeping we didn't do very much on day one the whole point was to just get there get down there um, because it was like a four hour drive. So then the next day we woke up early for the main event, the main reason why we went down there and it was to go to Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge. Oh my gosh. Okay, the reason why I wanted to go was to see big cats, big freaking cats. So I had been there one other time before on my birthday and I just fell in love. We ended up like walking through it or whatnot. And this year they did something different. They had you in like a car, I guess because um, I started tearing up when I heard about it, but cats can catch COVID. So you actually have to wear like a mask in this place. I was just, I really feel like a closeness, a kinship to cats. I feel very like, there's, people always ask what my favorite animals are, and I want to say cats, but sometimes I'm like, I just feel like my relationship with cats is a little bit different because I just, in the non-weirdest way possible, feel like I was a cat before, <laughs> and now I'm a human, and I just can't let go of my inner catness, and I just look at cats, and I just feel a certain relation to them like not in a way where i need to have them in my house or anything i'm very much so you need to be ethical about your pets i'm not trying to own a lion or nothing but i just feel very very close to cats and so i wanted to bring in what i feel like is probably going to be the best deer i've had in my life thus far with the um the things the animals that i feel closest to and it was just it was a special magical moment for me to be able to be in their presence and to see them. And I feel myself tearing up already talking about it. So I'm the point is I love cats. I got to see cats on my birthday and that was just, that was the highlight. Um, and then after we saw the big cats, we just headed home. <laughs> it was a really short trip, but it was because that was the whole point was to just go see cats. So the big, big gift that my sister ended up getting me, mind you, so I didn't really get any gifts for my birthday, but that's because on a personal level, I'm not really a gift person. I just want to spend time, meaningful time with people. And unless you're gonna gift me something that's like actually practical for my life, I'm just like not very receptive to gifts. Um, they have to be like really, really thoughtful. 
for me to care. Um, and my sister, my baby sister, got me an extremely thoughtful gift because I had tweeted out um, how much I wanted an iPad and a pencil because I want to be able to do more with my photography and do more with art. I draw and I've always loved drawing and I want to be able to do more and share more about that and I wasn't able to do it until my baby sister upgraded me. She got me an iPad 11 and you're gonna think this is ridiculous but she also got me a pencil and I put the cutest, oh gosh, I gotta do this YouTube style. She, I put the cutest little case on it, said it has a little kitty case. I'm so happy, I'm literally so happy. I've been drawing every single day. I just finished editing an ad campaign on it and I could not express just how happy and lucky and thankful I am for her and for this. Like, I just, and we're not a very sentimental family. I'm a sentimental person, but I don't come from a very sentimental family. So she's not gonna wanna hear all this, but I was, I was just so, I'm still just very so grateful and beside myself um, for her generosity. And you know, this just makes me feel like there's somebody out there, somebody else out there who believes in me. So that's been my birthday. That's pretty much everything about my birthday. Um, pretty quick, I'm not, Everybody likes to peg me as a Leo and I feel like this is the perfect moment of me going, no, I'm actually a Virgo and you guys will see that in time. Um, I'm not trying to celebrate my birthday all month. I just want to celebrate it in a meaningful way. Birthdays are very, very important to me, but they have to be meaningful. And you know, having you guys around and everything has just made this even more meaningful to me. And I've expressed it literally like five different ways on all of my social media. So I really don't wanna to get too, too much into it here and bore y'all to death. But I am so grateful that I get to be on this journey and do all of this stuff with and for you all. Like this is my dream. And every single day, I, it feels like I get to wake up and live my dream. And I only want to be able to get to the point where living my dream um, is viable enough for me so that I can maybe hope help encourage you all to live your dream, you know? And that's, I just, I just want this to be a big chain reaction with all of us. I want our community to just thrive and for all of us to, you know, stay happy and healthy out there. And so that is everything that I have to say. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you would like more vlogs or more vlogs like this, make sure you let me know, let me know down below. Um, I am gonna be uploading, I think just once a week now, I think two times a week was just kind of taking too much from me. But um, yeah, just, I don't know, let's chat, let's talk, let's be friends. And until next time, I absolutely love and adore you, my friends, and you stay happy and healthy out there, and bye.